third year English and Linguistics double major. I am from Blackshear, Georgia, and I am the director of the Resource Center's program here. What three words best describe yourself? Um, this was a difficult question. The three words I think are kind, curious, and accepting. Kind because kindness is something I, I greatly value. I think being kind is really important. And I try to be kind to everyone. Accepting because anyone can come to me, talk to me, tell me anything about themselves, and it's just another part of themselves that I accept fully. And also I, I love to listen, I love to know things, which goes into curious. Um, I'm curious about people, curious about everything. What three words best describe LGBTQ life on UGA's campus and or in Athens, Georgia? Okay. Um, I would say small, influential, and well, I, can't, I can't even read my hand right now. <laughs> <laughs> and multifaceted. The community here in Athens is, I guess, relatively small. Um, definitely more queer people here than in my hometown. It, it's small, but it's also extremely influential. I think anyone who finds themselves immersed in the community in Athens will find themselves changing after, you know, they really get involved. And then, along with that, multifaceted, you can really find any group you want in Athens. You can find people who care about anything, like whatever is best for you. You can get involved with that group and go with it. What three words best describe the UGA LGBT Resource Center? Oh, um, three words that I chose are nurturing, inspiring, and challenging. Nurturing because this is where I got my start in college, like, this is where I ended up from day one almost, actually, yeah, day one. And I have grown so much as a person because of the Resource Center, so nurturing is just a natural, easy choice. Um, inspiring because you get to meet a lot of students who make bettering the world their life's work. And when you see all of those people who want to do great and amazing things, you can't help but be a little inspired and want to do something like that as well. Challenging because queer theory, everything about queer anything, is relatively new and it's always changing, always evolving, you're always finding new identities, new ways of being yourself. So it's challenging when you have to like, you know, keep up with that stuff, learn that stuff, um, but it's rewarding beyond measure.